Hmm, maybe because the 65-year-old man, Jerry Lynn, doesn't really know what's going on in the world of wrestling today. So Jerry Lynn, when people ask me, where have I been? Why have I not been in TNA? You know what I say? I say, because Jerry Lynn didn't want me there. Now, for that reason, and that reason only, Jerry Lynn, I have come back on this day to challenge you, to prove that not only do I belong in NWA TNA, that I belong on Team TNA in the X Cup. And I'm gonna prove that tonight by beating the captain. And Jerry Lynn and everyone else will once again realize why I am the future. And the future looks good. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. About to make his way to the ring from Los Angeles, California. He weighs in at 216 pounds. Frankie, the future. September the 17th, almost six months ago, the last time that we saw Frankie Kazarian on a TNA pay-per-view, and Don, just judging from the words that we just heard from him, he's had an attitude change. You got that right. And his opponent from Minneapolis, Minnesota, he weighs in at 214 pounds, Terry. Think about it though, Frankie Kazarian's got a point. He was one of the top stars in the X Division. Rice, his, his star was on the rise so fast. And all of a sudden, gone. He's got to be mad. He has to feel slighted. This is his chance to prove to NWA TNA that he belongs. Yeah, but pointing the finger of blame at Jerry Lynn, and, and certainly Jerry Lynn, he was the team captain for Team NWA. He did make the selections of the wrestlers involved. It just seems to me like it's just jealousy rearing its ugly head on the part of Kazarian. 65-year-old Jerry Lynn. I'll tell you That's something. not showing respect. No, not at all, but something we've got to keep our eye on. Jerry Lynn has had the shoulder injury for week after week here. And let's see how, if it's gotten any better. This guy has just been a warrior. He's got 100% percent Yeah, initially that shoulder injury, as we see Lynn go for the cover here early against Kazarian. The shoulder injury occurred in a matchup with Juventud Guerrera. And then when we saw Jerry Lynn last week in the three-way match, there was just that one point of the match. He had hit his TKO finishing move, and then the shoulder injury flared up, which was just the opening that Team Canada's Petey Williams was looking for. Talk about opportunistic. Oh, and man. he was when he came in and got the pin to win the three-way matchup one week ago tonight. You're right, Don. We'll see how that injury, if it's still affecting Jerry Lynn at all. Look at his right through. It doesn't look like it's bothering him right now. Slides through, drops Kazarian, ooh, he immediately gets up, nails Lynn. Oh, caught it with the guillotine leg drop. That's the experience of Jerry Lynn. This guy, often called the MVP in NWA TNA when it first came out. Unbelievable. He's got so much to prove, too. This isn't just about breaking Kazarian. This is about the captain of Team NWA. He wants to prove to everybody that the, he, the former X Division champion, is still one of the best in the business. Oh, man. Oh. Well, we had seen the experience there pay off for Jerry Lynn. Being able to avoid the contact with several moves, but not that one as Kazarian just nailed Lynn. I'll tell you what, when I think of Kazarian, I think of that very first Ultimate X match. When you think about that, Michael Shane, Kazarian, and Chris Saban, what an unbelievable effort that they did. If you think about it, it really changed the careers at least for Michael Shane and Chris Saban. I'm not sure about Frankie Kazarian, yeah, well, that, we really haven't seen him much since well, then. Well, that's why I think he's got the attitude that he's got right now. I mean, he's just soured. He was so high up, and all of a sudden they can drop so fast, and that's why he's ticked off, and I think he sees an enemy in everybody right now. And I think he sees an opening because when Jerry Lynn went into the guardrail, he went in shoulder first, and you notice now that the action is spilled back into the ring, what's Kazarian doing? Working on that shoulder, that left shoulder that he hurt and really hurt bad last week when he was trying to finish off Juventud Guerrera. And you mentioned how Petey Williams came in and took the opportunity. But he's a warrior. He's just going to have to put it out of his mind. Jerry Lynn oh, look at that. He Whoa. just has nothing. Oh, man, Kazarian worked it in. Went to toss him off into the ropes, and you saw Jerry Lynn 
favoring the short of the point where he just he just stopped the offensive move. Cover now. Kazarian hooks a leg and gets a two count on Lynn. Oh boy. That injury has once again flared up. The separated shoulder of, of Jerry Lynn. And it's obvious that oh, Kazarian recognizes the fact. Fires him off. Shoulder first, of course, right into the top turnbuckle. Measuring him. Comes at Lynn. Drives both feet into the chest and the shoulder of Jerry Lynn. As you mentioned earlier, Mike Kinney, the very same shoulder that he hurt in the match with Hugo Guerrero a couple weeks ago. It has just been a focal point, and it's just not healed. Not healed at all. Oh, and man. you know, it's got to affect him. It's got to affect him in his working out. It's got to affect him in his, his, you know, away from wrestling regimen. And it just, it's, it's, he just can't be as sharp. Off the hammerlock slam. Kazarian up to the top, but the experience factor again comes back into play as Lynn cuts him off, but still favoring the shoulders. He goes to the top. Shoulder's not going to hurt him with that. Hurricane Rana that he snaps off the top. Slow to make the cover and slow to follow up the advantage that he has. Oh, he's a one-armed man out there, but I'll tell you what, with his experience, he's going to have to call upon everything that he knows. And, oh, Kazarian's relentless, Mike! Nails him! Jumping high kick directed into the face. Kazarian now for the pin. Two and... No, Lynn got the shoulder up at two. Oh, you can see how much it's affecting him, though. Check oh, this look out. It's just working every part of it. Trying to go for the cross arm breaker. You'll notice that Jerry Lynn is doing everything within his power to try and close that gap. And now smartly, rather than try and counter the move, get to the ropes, get the ring break, get that rope break, rather. Oh, he's in severe pain. This is almost where you would, if you had a towel, you'd throw it in. Just to, to save the guy. I mean, this could be very serious damage. And did you see Rudy Charles get right in the face of Jerry Lynn? I'm not sure if he asked him if he wanted to quit, but you know there's no quitting Jerry no. Lynn. Too much pride out there, Mike. This guy has had too, too much in his life that he, that, to wrestle for him. I and mean, this guy's a two-time X Division champion. Oh, oh man. That's why I belong here, Carl West. I mean, you, you can't can deny him. that. No. You cannot deny the fact that he does belong amongst the stars of the X Division oh. in TNA. He's proven himself to me. Oh! Wow. You know what? He just, Jerry Lynn tried to get up and get the extension to counter that. Just didn't quite have enough, but it was enough to block the main blow there by Kazarian. Right, because all of the impact from that missile drop kick from Kazarian was at least deflected slightly by Lynn with the move that he was able to make. Both men now back up to the vertical base. Duck of the clothesline by Lynn and uses the good arm with a series, a pair of running clothesline. Now off the ropes. Uh oh, float over. He's got him. Here he goes. DDT. Two. two. No. no. Shoulder up by Kazarian. This guy's got so much heart, Mike. So much fight. He's just got to block the pain somehow, and it's obviously so severe he can't do it, but he's got to try. Shoved off into the rope. Oh, he's got that. But he took advantage. Sit out, power bomb. Nope, another near fall. That experience factor is just something, isn't it, Mike? I mean, there Kazarian went up, looked like he was going to be able to snap off the hook and run in. Bam! Jerry Lynn just slammed him down. Kazarian to the apron. Connects with the shoulder block. Lynn went airborne. Did oh, not. did you see that? Perfect leg sweep by Lynn from inside the ring. Another shoulder block from the apron. Kazarian's going to slingshot in. Oh, wow. DDT off the slingshot. Just spiked oh. Jerry Lynn. Dropped him on his head. He'll go for the pin. Here, Here it is. Here he goes. Here's one. one. Here's two. two. And no. Oh, still life. Oh, he barely got that left arm up. But I don't know if the camera if it can get close on it. Not only is it injured interior, you can see the injury even on the outside. You can see the see the bruising. Yeah, the bruising on the outside is just unbelievable for everybody working on it. Ugh. Lynn able to float over. Attempted a German. Possible standing switch by Kazarian. Look out. Oh. Drives him into the corner. Shoulder first. Takes him up. Oh no, this could be it. He's pulling that on the arm. Oh, oh man, drops back. Perfect. Back to the Two. future. No! Out of it again, Mike. 
Kazarian can't he, believe no, it. he cannot. Just taking a look at the, the face of Frankie Kazarian, the disbelief that's, that's registered on the face of Kazarian, he's shocked as much as we are that Lynn was able to kick out a two. He's got to be just ask himself, what, is it, what do I have to do to beat this guy? Going to try for the wave of the future here, but that's blocked. Oh, but look at that agility. Uh-oh. Shoulder. He's got him. Here comes the TKO. Yes! And here it is. Jerry Lincoln finished it off right here. TKO on the Ireland's carry. Now the pin. Two. Now two. Oh. And he just doesn't have enough strength to apply the pressure to keep his shoulders down. And at the same time, the ring positioning. Well, Frankie Kazarian, very fortunate that he was close to the ropes, able to reach out and stop the pin count. Lynn gonna go cradle pile driver here. Oh, he nope. just doesn't he just, have it. He was going for it. But oh he no! Block, roll up. Kazarian's taking advantage of it. Bridge. Oh, Jerry Lynn got his shoulders he up. Stood on his head to avoid the pin. Oh. I'll tell you what, he deserves to be the captain of Team NWA DNA. Oh. Think about it. Great move there, hooking the top. Oh no, he's got Three, him. Roll. Two. No. Took advantage of it. The winner of the match, Frankie, the future Kazarian. Said it all along. He belongs in the X Division mix. There's no question about that. And Frankie Kazarian returns to TNA. Frankie Kazarian back on total non-stop action with an incredibly impressive win over Jerry Lynn. Yes, Jerry Lynn was injured on. Yes, favoring the shoulder. But Kazarian was able to take advantage of that opening and follow through and put him away. I mean, let's face it, even a one-armed Jerry Lynn is better than most wrestlers. Better than 90% of them.